Hello everyone, I'm Michael. I'm the second pal on this adventure. Let's see what damage he did. <sighs> Wait, how do I open? There we go. Oh no, I didn't even... I didn't even figure out controls! Oh, that's V! Tucker, that doesn't even make sense! Okay. Well, he picked the right starter, at least. Or at least one of them. Okay, what's B? That's B. That's B. What's move? Oh, that's move. Okay. Where are we in the map? Uh, I am in Cherry Grove City. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's... I guess let's get... Unterbach. What the hell's an Unterbach? Okay. I won't get mad. Okay. Alright, so... Maybe I should introduce myself? I do the double jump with the blokes, and I guessed on the socket, and... I have played many a Pokémon, but it has been a very long time since I've played this Pokémon. So if it seems like I'm fumbling my way through this, it's not because I'm bad. Deep down, I'm probably way better than Tucker. So I'll take that to my grave at least. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna get a feel out for this. Last time I played a Pokemon game, it was one of the more recent ones, so... It feels a little archaic. Or not archaic, but... Definitely going back in time for me. Okay. Ooh. Hell yeah. Angry Bulbasaur. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. I don't have running shoes. Uh, uh, is this my house? No, this is guy... <laughs> is this my house? That's not how you read a sign. How is this a city? There's like three, ho four houses. Oh, look, a Poké Center. This is what I needed. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm very relieved Tucker picked Totodile. I half expected a Chikorita named um a Chikorita named like Charmander or Michael. I could have seen him naming it Michael. Okay. Route 30. Violet City. That's nice. I've seen worse signage on real roads. good guys I like that I'm playing this game again it has been many a year I don't even know what happened to my old Game Boy Advance now that I think about it Ooh, berries how very nice of you but uh yeah I used to have a Game Boy Color I think if I remember right like there's plastic melting on it. It's it's a way better days, Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> oh no, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't actually know what happened to my copy of Crystal. 
I know that I made quite a few mistakes going through it, and I ended up beating the Elite Four, but, uh... It was definitely more of an uphill battle than it needed to be. Coincidentally, I also had a for Alligator at that time. Things are cyclical. Mirrors reflecting on themselves. Something, something, poetry, something. <laughs> that is a weird-ass Rattata. <laughs> no, let me... I wanted to see your Rattata. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hmm, <laughs> Pidgey. Hmm. Did Tucker remember to buy Pokeballs before? I he did. Final kill the frickin' bird. I'll be back, my bird. My sweet family. My sweet, sweet bird. Yeah, so I was one of the rules I always played by was I always wanted to raise a strong flying type. Like every generation has its de its uh, dedicated flying type. And Actually, I don't know what this generation's was. Was it a... It might have been Noctowl, and that was... It's not the greatest, but, uh... I always made it a point to have a Pidgey, or a Pidgeot, or a Swellow, or a, uh... I guess that carries over to the most recent one. Like, I have a Talonflame that I feature pretty prominently in my Ultra Sun party. But, uh... Let's see how this works out. Okay. Do I have money? Uh, do they sell Pokeballs? They don't even sell Pokeballs here. Well, okay. No, I don't wanna. I wanna go again. Bye. Go away. I'm really excited to see what actually pops up here. I, it, I'm imagining it'll just be these little guys, but I also forget if it works like a day or night scenario, so if it'll acknowledge it after a certain time period. Well, it's an emulator, so never mind. But... I might be pro projecting a little too much on this. Either way, my crocodile can beat caterpillars, so... Guess I'm not gonna see that man's top tier Rattata just destroy that other dinosaur thing that was probably another rat. Oh, it's even level 4 Pidgey. Think of how great this team would be rounded out with a level 4 bird. I also like them because they evolve early too. That was always... I think the first time I had an evolution in a game, it was actually a Pidgey to a Pidgeotto. A Pidgeotto. Whose house are you? Mr. Pokemon. Ooh. Do you think he knows how to... Do you think he'll be able to teach one of my Pokemon Cut? I hope he can teach one of my Pokemon... Cut. Oh boy! I 
can't wait to have a Togepi. Okay. Oh, wait, this is Professor Oak. Hmm. Imagine living in a world inhabited by these special little animals called Pokemon. Where where it's like a it is a very well established scientific term to refer to an entire group of living things. And then having the last name Pokemon. Yeah. Oh boy, a Pokedex. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Oh! Suck on that, Tucker. You didn't even have a Pokedex when you started. Haha, <laughs> haha. I forgot the sequence of this game completely. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Boo. You think he'd clarify in a phone call like that? Oh well, he's the professor, I'm not. There's a reason he has a doctorate and I don't. I was really hoping to get to a point where I can catch another Pokemon this time around, but uh, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. The least I can do is maybe level up Totodile. I mean Bulbasaur. One more level. Oh, come on. What's my time? I have two minutes left. Ah! Ah! Come on! Hurry back! The professor needs us! Ah. I always wonder where they go about naming these things. It's like, what do we call the caterpillar? What do we call the pigeon? What do we call the crocodile? The answer is Bulbasaur, apparently. Oh, I'm having some nostalgia. Hell yeah, buff Bulbasaur time. Woot woot. Okay. Anyway. Oh no. Am I gonna have enough time? I have 30 seconds. Can I be Gary? Oh no, I have to be Gary. Oh. Oh no. I have 20 seconds left. Oh. What do we name our rival? Question marks. Oh, he is the douchiest. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 